Hi, I'm Old Sneelock. We're going to hit another hole saw and see if we can sharpen one with a different diameter. Show you how I set the diameter variance. To rig up this sharpening system, what I did is I took a circle cutting tool that allows me to mount the Dremel tool in it, and I just drilled a pin in a wood block, set another wood block over the top of it to capture the pin inside that first wood block, and I cut away enough room for this thumb screw to fit in there. This arbor is just a, an old arbor that was in the jar. Some kind person went in and cut the pins off, thinking that they were in the way, I guess. The pins no longer engage the hole saw. They'll come up against the bottom and kind of rub against it, but they don't really lock it in. Need to make new pins or find new pins or just use this as a hole saw arbor in the pinch. By loosening the thumb screw on the bottom of the adjustment fixture, I'm able to adjust the height of the stone so that it centers into the gullet. You have to change this for every different diameter of hole saw that, that you sharpen. You need to come up with a way that's more rigid because this allows too much movement I want this stone to touch down on the top of the tooth and then slowly track down the top of the tooth until it reaches the gullet. That will sharpen the top of the tooth and reshape the gullet to maintain the depth so that the saw is jointed to the correct tooth height. Sorry for the shaky video. I'm holding the camera with one hand and turning the arbor and running the grinder with the other. It's a bit shaky.
This one has varying sized teeth. Larger ones here, opposite sides. Smaller ones here, opposite sides. Now, I don't know exactly what the reasoning behind that is, but it seems to be working okay. Probably something to do with uh, clearing out chips and loading the saw and making it cut easier. But now with it being sharp, it's gonna cut a lot better. And these missing teeth, it's gonna take a lot of sharpenings, but if I just follow the same pattern, those teeth will eventually become tall enough to become full size teeth again. I don't need to go through and grind all of them off just to get those teeth back where they belong. Two missing teeth really won't make that much difference. Because I'm not using an automatic machine, I don't have to try and dial in this varying tooth pitch. I can just let the, the grindstone slide down the back side of the tooth, touch the gullet, and it'll automatically follow. The grindstone is only going to take off just a few thousandths at each pass unless I really hog on it. And as you can see, if I really hogged on it, I'd probably break the wheel. Right on through. If you have any suggestions for a new video, questions about today's video, or any of the other videos on the channel, just drop a note in the comments. You know I read them all. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to continue watching videos here at Old Sneelock's Workshop, you can click over here and that'll take you to the last video that I posted. Or you can click over here and go to a YouTube video chosen especially for you. You can subscribe to Old Sneelock's Workshop by clicking here on the sign. And please, give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching.